The stars will fall from heavens. Hello, I am Moses Lushiku. I knew the Lord in the year 1984. One evening, I was resting and lying down on the pavement in my compound. Then suddenly I felt a force seizing me. I was overwhelmed by that force. I felt like ecstasy. That's how I was called. That's how I received the Lord. And while I was in ecstasy, I found myself in the cloud, that's where I saw the Lord Jesus Christ for the first time. Jesus showed me the planet Earth. The place where we stood was really far from Earth. Jesus said, this is the task I am giving you. Look at planet Earth and divide it by three. That will be the portion of people that will know me through your ministry. Jesus said, you will be among the people that I will use as instruments to bring about the rapture of the church. You are an end time servant. I will use you in the field of revelation and you will have a prophetic ministry. This is my calling and my vocation. Firstly, Jesus is God. When you are facing him, his eyes transmit to you his anointing. Your understanding is renewed and you are connected to the supernatural as your understanding is enlightened. His presence is divine. You know it's him. There is no such thing as doubt when you are in front of Jesus. But unfortunately, the person who introduced me to Jesus had backslid. We hope and pray that he will come back to Christ. Beloved, the Bible says in Matthew 24 29, immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light, the stars will fall from the sky, and the powers of the heavens will be shaken. The sun will darken. The word of God declares that all prophets have prophesied up to John, Matt 11, 13, and when John came, he presented Jesus to the world. So the new dispensation started with Jesus because the prophet and the law talk about the coming of the Messiah who is Jesus Christ. When Jesus was on earth, he said that we shall see the signs of the sun in the heavens, and he gave us three signs, the sun will be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall fall from heaven. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. Matt 24 29. In Act 2 20 the Bible says that the moon will be turned into blood. The sun shall be turned into darkness, and the moon into blood, before that great and notable day of the Lord come, Act 2 20. Beloved, the sun, the moon and the stars that Jesus was talking about here are prophetic emblems although they are luminous or celestial bodies in the sky. One day Joseph dreamt that the sun, the moon, and the stars were bowing in front of him. The Bible says, and he dreamed yet another dream, and told it to his brethren, and said, Behold, I have dreamed a dream more, and, behold, the sun and the moon and the eleven stars made obeisance to me. Gen 37, 9. Then Jacob said to him, Son, do you want me, your father and Rachel your mother and all your brothers to bow before you? Gen 37, 10. Beloved, the sign of the return of the Son of God can be found prophetically in the house of Jacob. The son in Joseph's dream was referring to Jacob who is the patriarch, before the return of the Lord. The Lord of all believers will look to and depend on the patriarch of the church which is the five-fold ministry. These five-fold ministries are the patriarch of the new covenant and the church. They are the dispensers of the word of God. The Bible says that the son or the patriarch will not give light and that the sun will be darkened. Yet David says, your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. Psalm 119, 105. The word of God is the prophetic light. We conclude that before the coming of the Son of Man, the patriarch dispensers of the word will not teach the word anymore. As a result, there will be darkness. It is obvious and we can attest that the sun is no longer giving its light these days. It is obvious and evident today that the sun is not giving its light. The biblical and prophetic word is not preached anymore. It is mixed and replaced by human ideas. The Son which is the fivefold ministry established by Christ to teach the Word and to give light is failing to dispense the biblical and prophetic Word. Beloved, by the grace of God, I was transported in the second heaven by the Archangel Michael, to attend a meeting animated by Lucifer which lasted four months. In this meeting, Lucifer asked the participants, what can we do to conquer humanity? Then Lucifer said, the core of humanity is the Church. Therefore we will neutralize the church in order to conquer the whole of humanity. He continued, the word of the other one, Jesus, says. I digress. Actually, the devil does not quote the name of Jesus. He refers to Jesus as, the other one. The mere mention of the name of Jesus will cause him to collapse. 
So the devil said, the word of the other one says, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path, therefore we will do everything possible to stop that word that is called light to be proclaimed all over the world. Lucifer said, as the opposite of light is darkness and as their own book calls me the prince of darkness, there will be darkness in the church because the word that is light shall not be proclaimed. We will replace it with spectacles and vanities. As a consequence, I will conquer the church which will become my property. As a result, the whole humanity will be mine. Beloved, the Bible says, I know thy works, and where thou dwellest, even where Satan's seat is. Rev 2.13 We should try to answer the question, how did the throne of Satan ended up being erected in the church of Jesus Christ? It is when the prophetic and biblical word of God is not proclaimed anymore and when darkness replaces the light of prophetic word. As a consequence, there is darkness and the throne of the devil gets established in the church and he is the one making the laws in the churches today. When the biblical and prophetic word is not preached, God is not there but the throne of Satan instead is established. The absence of the word of God is the sign of the coming of the Son of God. The fall of stars which is our theme today is a consequence of the fact that the sun which is the fivefold ministry is failing to shine or dispense the word. And the first repercussion of the sun failing to shine will be the moon represented by Rachel the wife of Jacob, the image of the church of Jesus Christ. The moon shall turn to blood. The failure to dispense the word by the fivefold ministry will affect firstly the church which is prophetically the moon which will turn into blood. As the Bible says, he came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Children born not of blood, nor will of the flesh, nor will of man, but born of God. John 1 11, 13. Beloved, the children of God are not born from blood yet the Bible says that the moon which is the church will turn to blood, which is the image of the flesh and materialism. The prophetic message is clear. Those who are not born of flesh and blood will fall from heavenly to material aspiration, from heavenly aspiration to earthly motivation. The transformation of the moon to blood is the decline or the fall of the church to materialism. The blood is prefigurative of the flesh. The church will turn into a humanitarian organism. Yet the Bible says, flesh and blood shall not enter the kingdom of God. Opening parenthesis exclamation mark. Core 1550. Actually, the church has become a place where you can press a magic button to get money, to emerge socially and financially. But the Bible tells us that the church is the spirit bride of Christ and that whoever attached himself to the Lord becomes one spirit with him, and as the Lord is spirit, his church or his bride is also spiritual. The problem of the church is that the sun is not giving its light. As a result, the church is focused on current and temporary life. Beloved, this darkening of the church that we are witnessing today is a sound of the trumpet and a warning to those who are warned or who are prudent. This is a sign of the coming of the Son of Man who is about to appear. This explains why our retreats, our fastings, and prayers, our motivations are all about success and prosperity. It is clearly obvious that the moon has already turned to blood, yet the Bible says that flesh and blood shall not inherit the kingdom of heaven. The Son is responsible for this situation. I mean, the fivefold ministry is responsible for this crisis. So what is the remedy for this man-made spiritual crisis? In Matthew 24 45, Jesus asked, Who then is the faithful and wise servant, whom the master has put in charge of his household, to give the others their food at the proper time? Firstly, we noticed that the Bible says, the master has put him in charge of his household. The church is the household of Jesus, not of the pastors or any man's property. We notice that the Bible underlines the fact that the faithful servant is supposed to give the others their food at the proper time. Now, what is the food in the proper time? The question is, what time is it now? We are living in the last days, therefore the food that is supposed to be delivered to the church has to be corresponding to the times we are living now. To understand the time we are living now, let us review the study of time. Briefly in Revelation 3.20, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and dine with him, and he with me. The Lord who is the master of time and circumstances says here that in case anyone opens to him, he will enter and he will have supper with him. Do you have to wonder when is dinner? It is absolutely clear that we are dealing with evening time. Beloved, you cannot take breakfast in the evening. You need dinner. A lot of unfaithful servants today are serving breakfast instead of dinner. 
Beloved, you must make sure that you are being served evening meal because we are in the evening of times, and the evening of human history. Let us go back to Israel's wandering in the wilderness and analyze the types and shadows of the food that they were eating. In the wilderness, the children of Israel were eating manna in the morning and in the evening, they were eating quails, which is a migratory bird. Migration means leaving one territory for another for good. The quail is a migratory bird which moves from one place to another, not to come back. When it is winter, the quail moved and we are called to eat quails in the evening because we are moving from earth to the new Jerusalem. If we check the timeline, it is clear that from Adam to Abraham, it is 2000 years and from Abraham to the birth of Christ, it is 2000 years and from the birth of Christ to the year 2000, it is a total of 6000 years. This means we are in the Sabbath, the seventh millennium. We have arrived at the end of human history. The Bible says, pray that your flight will not take place in winter or on the Sabbath Matt 24 20, but we are already in the Sabbath. You must understand since the year 2000, we are living in supplementary time. The Lord Jesus is knocking on the door for dinner. We must eat quails as this food is related to the time of the evening. In this food, there is the notion of a journey or migration from earth to heaven. We are to eat the food that will enable us to migrate from the earth to eternal ages. Beloved, in the wilderness during the day, there was a pillar of cloud and in the evening, there was a pillar of fire. Exodus 13 21 The pillar of cloud is the image of blessing because clouds cause rain to fall and when there is rain, agriculture thrive. The pillar of cloud is the old covenant. It was about to rain in blessing. But as we are in the evening, we are under the pillar of fire. So we are in the time of transformation and purification through fire, because the purpose of fire is purification although it hurts and it is painful. But it gives us divine nature as our God is a consuming fire. The stars shall fall from heaven. The Bible says that God told Abraham to go outside and he said, Now look towards the heavens, and count the stars if you are able to count them. And he said to him, So shall your descendants be. Gen 15, 5. From his birth and his ministry, Jesus introduced a new dispensation through the stars. In his birth, his star was seen by astrologers who brought gifts to him. The Bible says that those who have insight will shine brightly like the brightness of the expanse of heaven, and those who lead many to righteousness, like the stars forever and ever. Dan 12, 3. It is clear that Abraham's posterity is identified as stars and in Christ, we are Abraham's posterity. As it is written, so shall be your posterity, stars. Those who teach righteousness are called Abraham's descendants or stars, and they will shine. The fall of the stars is about the decline of Abraham's posterity who has abandoned their heavenly aspiration for earthly and temporal needs. They are supposed to teach righteousness, as written, Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Matt 6 33. The children of Abraham had abandoned heavenly aspirations and are motivated to seek earthly goods yet the Bible says that Abraham was looking forward to the city with foundations, whose architect and builder is God. Heb 11.10. As a result, the churches that are preaching the pursuit of material and earthly wealth and success are full of fallen stars but the churches preparing believers for heaven, they are the ones shining like the stars, though they are much fewer. Whosoever, therefore, shall break one of these least commandments, and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven, but whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Matt 5 19. The evidence that the stars have fallen is that none of them are seeking first the kingdom. Yet the Bible says, seek first the kingdom and the rest will be added to you. Abraham's posterity is seeking things which are supposed to be added to them instead of seeking the kingdom of God. The question we are forced to ask is, are you seeking first the kingdom or the things that are supposed to be added to you? The Bible says that the stars shall fall. In this present times, many believers have fallen due to the deception of the prosperity preachers and the hyper-grace preachers. The Bible says in Rev 12, For in his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the earth. The tail signifies a sneaky attack on the victim unseen and sudden. It is the work of deception and darkness that have crept into the church to cause many believers to jeopardize and scuttle their salvation and fall from grace and from the faith. 
As a result of the darkening of the sun, the fivefold ministry perverting the gospel, the moon turning to blood, the church becoming fleshly and materialistic, the stars, the believers turning their eyes from righteous and heavenly things to carnal and earthly things have fallen. The stars will fall from heavens. Hello, I am Moses Lushiku. I knew the Lord in the year.